That had to have been the worst apology I've heard since Mac from Friday Night Lights. Guys, this team, you know, they're great at banging trash cans, they're great at cheating, they're great at decoding sequences, video monitoring, zooming in, etc. But they're terrible with their PR for whatever reason. All the budget went, I guess, into the cheating, into the extension for certain players like Altuve. But they had nobody to handle common sense of the PR. Why was it even necessary for these two morons, Bregman and Altuve, to apologize? You would have been better off holding the thing behind, basically after the statement by either Jim Crane, who, by the way, is another bonehead, is another man-child owner who, for whatever reason, you know, th this guy's probably convinced himself, you know, because he's kind of reminded me of Jerry Jones a little bit in this press conference and in his statements lately that you can lie to yourself and convince yourself that that lie is true because you're that egotistical. Like I said, old man-child billionaire. That's what mostly the owners act like, and that's what you're seeing. This particular owner act like right in front of your eyes, guys. And I'm sure you've heard the Carlos Correa comments by now. Um, I still don't believe it. He said they didn't use buzzers. Um, nobody can explain to me, even on Twitter, why Altuve said, I got a piece on. And I've had people tell me that you don't know Spanish, and he said it in Spanish. No, I do know Spanish. And again, that's not how you say, you know, la, la camisa. That was the explanation. No, he said, I got, G-O-T, a piece on. There was no camisa. There was no fucking three syllables, okay? I got a piece on it. It's that simple, guys. And that's what these cheaters do, man. They're egotistical, arrogant morons that are basically pulling a card from Ryan Braun and just kind of convincing themselves that this really didn't happen. And if it did happen, that they're just above it all. You know, they got immunity from the Players Association in Manfred because that's just how it is. They protect these players to no ends, right? They're bulletproof. At the expense of A.J. Hinch and Jeff Luna, who, of course, they knew about it. should have been stopped, but at the end of the day, guys, these guys should be banned. Because if Pete Rose isn't allowed into the Hall of Fame, these guys should be playing baseball. Nobody, again, can find a good explanation for that. And all these dumbass reasons I hear MLB Network that, well, they have immunity. Look, we understand they have immunity. But it's a really lazy, half-assed way to get the true answers. Assuming they told you the truth, which they didn't. You guys think this stopped in 2017? It didn't. You think this idiot said, I got a cam I, I got like camisa? What the? You can replay that video a hundred times. He said, I got a piece on. There's no proper common sense explanation as to why he said that's about two of after the home run against Chapman. And then went into the clubhouse, freaking beeline right into the clubhouse, and they come right back out after winning the pennant on a home run. There's no common sense explanation for that. The moron said his wife said that she was getting upset, and then you legit see on Twitter him like shirtless like seven or eight different times. None of this shit makes any sense. This organization is going to get what they deserve. They deserve to get thrown out the entire season by anybody and everybody, man. Especially Bregman. Bregman's Bregman's just always been a piece of shit. And I always knew those power numbers were probably just some sort of, like, I'm going to say an anomaly, but the guy can only hit one direction for power, which is left field. He doesn't hit balls to center or right field. If they're by right field, it's got to be, like, a really short porch right field. Like Yankee Stadium or something like that. The guy has only one power direction. So for him to hit 39 home runs and then you see him swinging through these really sometimes bad pitches. I always knew something was off. Altuve, he's, he's like Guerrero. He can hit anything that you throw at him. Right? Even though, like I said before, he, he used the buzzer in that instance because the guy throws 103 miles an hour. Talking about all this channel. But these guys are cheaters. They did a really lazy half ass way of covering it up. And they did an even more half ass freaking version of apologizing. You could call it an apology, guys. They don't give a fuck. So this season is going to be fun from that standpoint to see how many times, because I have an OB network, guys. And if you have T-Mobile, you get the free um, subscription for the entire year, the entire season of 2020 for OB. So you can tune in to the Astros games, who they're playing, home and away, just, just to gauge this reaction. Because as a baseball fan, it's going to be that much interesting to see what goes on with this team. And let's just see if they have some of these crazy offensive seasons. Because if you haven't noticed, the players who are being the most apologetic are basically Correa and Springer. Those are the guys that are closest to free agency. Bregman and Altuve, they're locked up, and they're going to be tied to this organiza organization for probably the, the rest of their careers, man. The rest of the duration of their careers. Correa's gone, I think, 2021, and Springer's 2020, right? It might be the other way around, but I'm not mistaken. These guys know what they're doing. These guys know what they're doing. You know, it's, it's, it's all orchestrated. Except, for whatever reason, these guys can't put two and two together and realize this shit's going to come off bad. That initial... 40 second apology was gonna come off terrible. They didn't realize that trying to like play it out in their heads. That's how stupid some of these human beings are that they can't really put two and two together and just realize how the public's gonna react to this. Verlander finally talked, nobody gives a fuck. Again, he's not talking as much as he did when his organization wasn't cheating, right? That guy had everything to say about 
anything and everything. You can't get a word out of him now. Another hollow apology. So it is what it is, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, please leave a like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Might be doing another video to cover this because this organization, like, they've annoyed me past, and I'm a Yankee fan, forgot to mention, they've annoyed me past almost the Red Sox limit just because of the constant bullshit they're hearing out of a lot of these players. But I didn't even mention Josh Reddick, but I'm, I'm trying to just mention the relevant, important players. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Logo 320 is out. Be safe. Have a good one. That's going to be the last pitch he throws out as the home plate umpire, and he's going to send our pitcher off to an early shower. He's been ejected from the ball game. Well, Matt, with that ejection.